wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, thank We'd like to uh, introduce Harry Cooper, the uh, uh, juror for this, this year's competition. Harry, since 2007, has been the curator of contemporary uh, art at the National Gallery of Art. And uh, before that, he was at the uh, Harvard Art, art Museum's uh, director of those. Uh, he's written and lectured extensively uh, uh, and uh, uh, holds, holds master, master uh, rather, uh, uh, doctoral degree and, and uh, Undergraduate degree from Harvard and, and uh, uh, master's from Johns Hopkins. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Harry. Thank you, Mark. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. It's an honor to uh, be here and to have been the only juror for this year's competition. And it's always great to see the works in a PowerPoint and then come and see them in person and realize that, uh, no, I didn't make a mistake. <laughs> they, um, they look even better in person. So I was just asked, um, you know, what, what attracted me to this work? And so. I think that, well, I love painting, and I've looked at a lot of paintings, and I did my dissertation on Mondrian, who you might think is just the total opposite of this kind of work, but, but in fact, uh, in the history of modern painting, there's so many things that uh, are, are constant among great paintings, and that is um, a sense of how to handle the paint, a, a deep sense of structure, um, which you have in this work. And I think that it's pretty rare to find a painter who is very, um, uh, very sophisticated, uh, knows about the history of modern art, has that, you know, in her brush, and yet is not self-conscious and is not too stylish and is not um, second-guessing and thinking about um, what would look good at every minute and is still able to take. Uh, risks, be spontaneous, and you know, that, that's important to you, and that really uh, comes out in the work. So uh, I just, there's a lot to see in every every one of these paintings. Uh, yes, they're beautiful, they're attractive, there's, there's a sort of eye candy uh, element, but you have to get past that because there's uh, really exciting um, handling of paint, use of different materials and uh, techniques and um, just a lot of joy in the act of painting. So it gives me uh, encouragement that um, painting is still going on in that good old way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I think that's about it, but I want to thank Mark for, for getting me uh, into this. and. Uh, and being able to experience some great local artists. And um, uh, so, take it away. That's all for Mallory here. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> important. 
When one is spontaneous, one works without analytical thought, stream of consciousness, just from the heart. You, you can't be spontaneous without it just, what's inside just comes out. But it can be dangerous in some situations. You know, if you say the wrong thing, you can hurt somebody, you can offend people, you can lose your job. <laughs> but spontaneous, spontaneity also feels really good. You may lose your job, but at least you get to say what you thought, grab a beer, and slide down the street. <laughs> I really think it's important to be spontaneous for our mental health. In some cultures, singing and dancing is part of your daily life and your spiritual life. When it's done without hurting someone, it not only feels good, it allows us to fully express ourselves, show what's inside us without holding back, and still be accepted and even appreciated. That's got to be good for us. That's got to be good for us. When I look at the work of these three artists, they inspire me to be more spontaneous. It's like they give me permission. They encourage me to be more holy myself, not only in my artwork, but in my life. <clears throat> they make me want to paint and dance and sing. It's really an ambitious goal, but my goal is that I hope my work may also do that for other people. Aww. Aww.